Hey guys, Redrappers here, and today I'm going to show you how you can set up a Raspberry Pi Pico. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the firmware onto it, and then run a basic program. So in order to do that, we're going to come to this link here, the link will be in the description, and we're going to download Thorny. So I will just download the Windows 64-bit installer, and now it's downloaded, I will now run the installer, and then you can select either option, I'm going to just select install for all users and then you want to just go through the installation wizard. Now I'm going to get it to create a desktop icon, and then click install. And there we go, Thorny has now installed. So we will now open it up. And now it's been opened up, we now need to connect our Raspberry Pi Pico to the computer. Now before you do that, we're going to need to press and hold the boot select button down as we plug it in, so that we can then add the firmware onto it. So you want to hold down the boot select button, so I will do that now, I will hold down the boot select button, and then plug in the USB into it. And there we go, it now shows up as a drive on the PC. So now what it will do is we will click in the bottom right down here, and then we will click Install MicroPython. Then you want to select the type that you have, so you want to have the MicroPython family selected as RP2, and then you want to select the variant of your board. So I have a Raspberry Pi Pico, so I'm going to select this first option, but just to see what version you have, you just want to have a look on the Raspberry Pi Pico itself, and the exact model should be silk screened onto it. So I'm going to select Raspberry Pi Pico, and then I will leave it on the latest version, and then I will click install. So now it will start installing the firmware. And there we go, it's now installed the firmware, so we can now close this down, and we will now just add our test program on. So I will just copy this basic code here, all this is going to do is just blink the LED on the Raspberry Pi Pico. So in this blank file here, I will just paste that in, and then before we can save it, we need to set our interpreter. So if you come to the tools, then options, and then interpreter, you want to make sure that the interpreter is on MicroPython for the Raspberry Pi Pico. And then you also want to make sure that it has the correct COM port selected, so it will most likely be COM port 3. And once you've made sure those settings are correct, you can then click OK. Now to save this to the Raspberry Pi Pico, I will first just click stop to make sure that it can communicate with it. And there you go, as you can see there has been no errors saying that it couldn't communicate with it. So you can see it's detected the Raspberry Pi Pico. And we will now click save, and then we will select the option Raspberry Pi Pico. So we can save it to the Pico itself. And then you can name the file whatever you want, but if you name it main.py, then this file will automatically get run whenever the Raspberry Pi Pico is powered. So you want your file name to end in .py, and if you want this file to run automatically as soon as it is powered, it wants to be called main.py. So if we click OK on that, I could either now unplug the Raspberry Pi and plug it back in and it would run the program, or I can click the run current script button here that will run this current script on the Raspberry Pi Pico. So I've just clicked that, and now the LED is blinking for one second, turning off, and then blinking again for one second, as would be expected from this code. So when you run this code, that LED on the Raspberry Pi Pico should start blinking. And then if I unplug it and plug it back in, as I've named the program main.py, it has automatically started running that program again, so the LED is running, now it has power again. So guys, that's the basics of setting up a Raspberry Pi Pico. Hopefully you liked the video. If you liked it, don't forget the like button. If you just liked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe, go talk like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.